Hi, it's Dr. Jen. All right, breaking out the white coat for this one and slippers because I think we're just not getting it, okay? So we're gonna talk about the 1918 Spanish flu. I did not name it. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna talk about is flattening the curve and one specific example about it. So we're gonna talk about Guys, get out of there. in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia, there was this giant parade, September 28th, okay? There was about 200,000 people there. They would not cancel it, even though the Spanish flu was going on and was a health concern, okay? 72 hours, okay? Because you have to realize that the Spanish flu, it has a different, um, it's different than COVID-19, okay? So it was a little bit shorter from exposure to symptoms to when they were sick, um, where COVID-19 is longer. So 72 hours, all 31 hospitals in Philadelphia, and this is, you can check this, this is historical facts, were filled, okay? 31 hospitals filled because they wanted to have their freaking parade. We got to have our parade. We're teenagers. We want to play basketball together. We're adults. We want to go to the golf range or golf because this is happening in Toledo, you guys, where I live. Okay. Right there. Now, in contrast, St. Louis, around the same time, did social distancing. And this isn't, this is no like new thing. This is 1918. Social distancing, nothing with big crowds, okay? They were smart, they played the game correctly, they had one eighth of the death rate of um, Philly, okay? Let that sink in, okay? So they, they had so many less deaths than Philly, okay? Then, we can also look at the same Spanish flu, San Francisco. Okay. San Francisco fined people that weren't wearing masks. So they wanted everyone in public to wear masks. Okay. To decrease this respiratory droplet flu. Okay. So they had such good, they were just doing so well, like not having a lot of cases, not having a lot of spreading that they decided in January, because business owners of like the theaters and everything, they were complaining and about being closed. They lifted in January, the restrictions of social big gatherings, and they had way increase in deaths. Okay, so they did all the work up front with the mask, they were doing the right thing, and then they had increased deaths. Okay, so that is history, right? And shouldn't we learn from history? Okay, I think that was pretty cool that everyone um, got to wear a mask, but anyway, they got fined five dollars if they weren't wearing a mask or weren't wearing it properly, which that's a lot of more money right now. Okay. So as of today, Friday, March 26, is anyone else, the days are just, you know, going together. Okay. In the U.S., we have 85,498 cases. We actually, um, we're at, we're winning. <laughs> we like to win in the U.S. We're winning with number of cases. Okay. Um, so we have um, 1,312 deaths, okay? Now I just wanna, I don't wanna confuse people so I'm gonna erase this. I just wanna talk about Ohio now because people in Ohio are like losing their minds on social media, which I just need to stay off social media. Oh, I had to take a break and get the baby. Okay, so the baby's with us now. Okay, so we're gonna talk about specifically Ohio. So right now there's 867 confirmed COVID cases in Ohio, 91 are in the ICU, which usually means they're on a ventilator, okay? 
which means they are they need help to breathe. And 15 does. The ages are less than 1 to 94 years old with a median age of 51 with 53% being male, okay, of cases, all right? So let's talk just about one county, Cuyahoga County, okay, which is Cleveland, okay? So Cuyahoga County alone has 259 cases with two deaths. And then close to home for us, we have Lucas County, where Toledo is, 35 cases, two deaths. So higher mortality rate, mm. if you look at that. And then Wood County mm. has six, six cases, okay? So let's talk about just testing, okay? So in the U.S., in Ohio, we are not testing enough. We are not testing a lot compared to other countries. So this can affect how the mortality rate looks as it's higher in Lucas County than it is in Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga County and the Cleveland Clinic who runs their own tests are testing more. So there's more cases and a lower fatality rate. At the same time, because we are not testing a lot in Lucas and Wood County, it looks like we do not have a lot of cases, but let me tell you, Ohio has COVID-19 or SARS-2. We're just not testing enough, okay? I am getting lots of messages from friends on social media or via text. I am seeing telemedicine patients. People have the COVID-19 syndrome. People are sick, but we're not getting them tested, okay? So when people say that social distancing doesn't matter, it does. We are just not seeing that reflected in the numbers, you guys. This is really simple, yet so hard to understand, right? So let me give you some graphs, okay? And you guys can find these at the Ohio Health Department on their, corona, um, their coronavirus. You guys can see all of this. So February 21st, and here's March 22nd. Our cases, if you look in detail, are going like this, you guys. Okay? This is badness. We are not flattening the curve. We are not doing enough. We are not doing a good job. Okay? If you look at Detroit, their hospital systems are struggling, some of them. They're closing their doors. They're trying to triage like a mass casualty for ventilators. Okay? This is this, you guys. This is the ventilator. This is the ICU patients, okay? This is why we still need to flatten the curve. Why is this so hard? Let's talk about deaths. If you look, they're also, it looks kind of like this. If you look online, they're going up too, you guys, okay? This has a long, this virus, you have to quarantine for 14 days. This, you have a slow onset of symptoms where you're not symptomatic, but you're shedding the virus, okay? We need to flatten the curve. We need our curve to look like this. So our healthcare capacity, this is the capacity of the hospitals. We will be good here. We will be bad here, okay? Now go back to when I was talking about the 1918 Spanish flu. You guys, this is, this is bad. You know, just like the regular influenza, we're going to have morbidity, mortality. You know, we're going to have issues with it. But this coronavirus is just so new, okay? So let's just talk a little bit more, okay, about the specific, um, you know, let's just talk numbers here. So 2019 census, um, we have 11.5. 65 million people just in Ohio, okay? And Italy has 60 million, 60.5 in their whole country, okay? So, you know, we're talking about when we look at numbers and we compare to Italy, we have to start looking at the numbers with people getting infected and, and people dying. And we just have to be more smart about it, you guys. And I, I know this is hard. <laughs> 
I know this is super hard. I have four kids. We're like homeschooling all of them right now and trying to, and I'm trying to work so I can pay, you know, my mortgage. You know, I get that this is hard, you guys, but we need to still be responsible. We have to realize that our chart in Ohio is going in a bad way. We're not flattening the curve in Ohio and we're not even really even testing people. So really, if we had testing like like I wish you know we did have available I'm sure this would be even like higher you know instead of just going more slow you guys this is information okay these are facts this is not something that I made up or a theory or conspiracy theory this is just facts okay and we're comparing I showed you guys the Spanish flu of 1918 okay I showed you guys what's going on now okay we have to be patient you guys I was very overwhelmed yesterday we're all overwhelmed this is hard stuff okay but we just have to do our part we have to be smart we have to be supportive of people that are making the hard choices okay and we have to make the hard choice to stay at home to social distance to not like go golfing in groups to not to tell your teenagers that they cannot hang out with their friends right now you can show them this video and they can learn why you can show them the videos of young people in the icu with this okay i'm, I'm pleading with you as an er doctor as an integrated medicine doctor as a mom you know you guys we, we have to just hold still with this see where our curve's going especially in ohio where we live and doing our part okay so i hope this helps see this little guy want some milk please share and spread the word facts not fear okay this is not supposed to to scare you guys it's just supposed to give you guys facts because this is why we're doing the hard things right now all right bye